Hi everyone, I'm Katie Pennock. I'm the Campaigns and Communications Manager at Transport for All and we are the disabled-led organisation working towards equal access to transport and streets for disabled people across the UK. Katie Pennock here is at a select committee meeting that's focused primarily on the impact of closing railway ticket offices. Before she explains some of the ways it will impact on disabled people, here she questions the research railway companies have taken. A question that arose for me when poring over these many, many documents, uh, totalling thousands and thousands of pages, is what expertise have operators drawn upon in making these assessments? Um, it is unclear what engagement they have, what proactive engagement they have done with disabled people and our organisations, and certainly our organisation was not reached out to or contacted during the development of these proposals from train operator companies. Um, so, how can we be satisfied that they have adequately identified all potential impacts if they don't have that expertise available? So, how will ticket office closures affect disabled people? I mean, that's absolutely the case. <clears throat> disabled people need staffed stations due to our hideous Victorian infrastructure there's a massive step to get onto the train I need someone to bring out a manual boarding ramp to help me get on blind and visually impaired people may require sight guiding through stations this is particularly an issue with due to the lack of tactile paving on platform edges which means that navigating a station independently is dangerous for many blind and uh, blind and visually impaired people um, people who have mental health <coughs> conditions or learning disabilities or cognitive impairments uh, may need a bit of extra support safely navigating a station, particularly if it's crowded. Um, all, all of these use cases of staff demonstrate that staff need to be visible, they need to be located. Now, this idea that staff currently being behind the glass is a problem that needs to be fixed is not the case at all. It's actually one of the most important accessibility features of a ticket office. It's a designated place where disabled people can go and be assured that they will find assistance from that place. Um, this idea of moving staff into multifunctional roles where they could be anywhere on any of the platforms or anywhere in the concourse or indeed anywhere else um, requires disabled people to arrive at a station and go traipsing around a station trying to find this member of staff. Um, and these disabled people may have energy limiting impairments, we may have mobility impairments. Um, I already experience the impact of this because um, one of the stations that I use very frequently has already closed their ticket office on some days, it now shuts at 1pm on a Saturday. Um, so if I want to travel on a Saturday afternoon, I go to the ticket off office, it's shut, no one's there, I have to find a member of staff. I have to push myself up a ramp over the footbridge, down the other ramp, check one platform and do the same and check the entire station. That is completely unreasonable. Click here to get it right. The RMT does not represent train drivers.